If you use Revit 2023 with Dynamo, you've probably noticed a few things have been broken. Let's look at a few things in regards to this change and how we can fix it. All right, so as you may or may not know, Dynamo comes with Revit now as an integrated product. You can't update Dynamo anymore with Revit. It just comes with the initial install, patches and updates. So that's kind of how you get Dynamo for Revit nowadays. The issue here is that did fix the deployment issue for de deploying Dynamo and installing it, but it did cause other issues to where if we'd like to receive updates to things, it's a bit more difficult. Uh, so there was a patch that came out, it's Revit 2023.0.2 to fix all, some of these issues for us. Uh, the problem is it didn't have the fix in it after all. It was actually a bug that the team's working on right now. Thankfully, Saul from the Dynamo team was kind enough to offer up a fix for this in the meantime. This is one of those fixes very similar to how I showed how to deploy Dynamo a newer version to Revit versions. I'll link that video below, but it's similar to that to where it's kind of like a do at your own risk kind of thing um, because you have to replace DLLs in your Revit install for Dynamo. So keep that in mind while you follow through this. So kind of do this at your own risk and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so I'll include a link to this post below as well. But essentially what Saul did was he provided our Revit nodes.dll for us to be able to update. The Revit node CLL lets us load the Revit library in Dynamo. So we can go ahead and click on this to download it. I'll just put it in my downloads and we'll see that we have Revit nodes.dll.txt. So the first thing we need to do is delete the text extension. We'll click OK and then we'll go to properties and we'll actually say unblock. This step's really important because this DLL came from the internet. We need to unblock it. It is from the Dynamo team. You can kind of check the signature and all that kind of stuff as well. So there we have it. The next step is to copy this path that he included here. And what we'll want to do is we'll first want to back up Revit nodes.dll, the existing one that you have. So back that up onto your desktop, keep it somewhere safe, just in case you need to reverse this change. So do that. And then what you would do is copy Revit nodes.dll and replace the one in your program files. This will fix those set parameter issues that we've been seeing. Uh, I'll link to a few of those posts here as well. But essentially, if you're trying to set parameters and you get a spec type ID error, that's because the Revit API changed quite a bit. And they didn't account for that, unfortunately, with the initial Dynamo release with Revit. I personally haven't seen that a lot. Uh, maybe I'm setting parameters that just seem to work. So I haven't seen that happen a lot myself, but it's something that's worth knowing. I believe the next patch will have an update for it. I don't really know, but this is one way to fix it if you wanna get this fixed if you're using 2023 in any kind of production setting. So yeah, I thought I'd make a quick video to share how that process worked. I hope that helps out. Let me know below what you think and yeah, thanks for checking out the video.